To pass a Read Naturally Live story, students must read the story at their goal rates, make three or fewer errors, read with appropriate expression, answer the quiz questions correctly, and meet teachers' expectations when retelling the story. When a student doesn't meet one or more of the criteria for passing, the teacher or assistant must decide the best course of action. Let's watch Ms. Den's response to Lee, a student who fails to pass a story on the first try. After testing him on the story and evaluating his work, Ms. Den reviews Lee's work with him. The requirements Lee met are marked with stars. Those he didn't meet are marked with X's. Lee didn't pass because he made too many errors during his hot timing, so Ms. Den must decide how to respond. She clicks Next to see her options. When a student doesn't pass, the teacher or assistant has a choice of remedial actions, and each corresponds to a specific pass requirement. For example, if Lee had failed to read at his goal rate, selecting the Practice Story option would require him to practice the story until meeting his goal. Lee made too many errors during the hot timing. In this situation, the suggested remedial action is for Lee to read along with the narrator at the pace that supports accuracy. If Lee didn't pass because of poor expression, Ms. Den could have him read along with the expressive rate narration. If he answered any questions incorrectly, Ms. Den could ask Lee to redo the quiz questions he missed. And if Lee's retelling of the story didn't meet expectations, Ms. Den could have him revise his work. If Lee failed to meet more than one requirement, Ms. Den could assign multiple remedial actions. If a student almost passed the hot timing, teachers or assistants can immediately conduct another hot timing without requiring further remedial activities. Finally, teachers and assistants can decide not to have the student complete any more work on a story, even though some pass requirements haven't been met. Students should be held accountable, though, so this option should rarely be used. This is an opportunity to provide additional coaching. Since Lee only missed passing by one error, Ms. Den decides to immediately retest him. She selects the Retest Story option to return to the hot timing page. Lee clicks Start Timing, and he begins reading. Click on the last word you read when the bell sounded. Ms. Den tells Lee which word to click. She enters the number of errors he made and rates his expression. The hot timing graph shows how much Lee has improved from his cold to hot timing. This time, Lee met all the criteria for passing the story. Congratulations! You passed this story. Now, Lee can select a new story.